All right, welcome back to the winner's enclosure, and uh, we'll just wait uh, for the connections to come and join us. But number seven, RT is the two-year-old Gray Philly, the daughter of Canford Cliffs, has won a great race this afternoon in testing conditions. Well done to Gareth Wright, well done to Brett Crawford, to the Ridgemont team, uh, to Mr. Craig Kisveta, as well as uh, to Mr. Devin Heffer. Congratulations. A lovely combination. They love the game, they love the sport, they love their horses, and long may it continue. Uh, seven, Artiste is now a two-time winner from four starts. All right, so Gareth will come and join me in just a moment. Uh, he's given this one a top ride. Uh, just to the left-hand side of me. Sorry, Gareth. Good to, to see you as well. Uh, lovely uh, filly this. I know that uh, last time I was beaten 10 lengths by the improving line ramparts. Good win today. Yes, lovely win. You know, she's, she is a nice type of horse. She's still maturing. She's still... This is not a furnished uh, uh, product, you know. So it's a lot of improvement. She's all natural. She put the race to bed quite naturally. Is a bit soft out there, but I think she's going to progress as she gets stronger. Well, that's what I want to chat to you about, uh, those conditions out there. I know that I want to give the, a few more races to run. If you can just provide us with an update. So now that we've run three races. You know, there is certain spots that's um, quite soft. And uh, my horse did a uh, peck in the straight. So that's my opinion. So, I, you know what, the, the track is soft. And we're going to take it race by race and see what everyone decides and if we feel safe or not but uh we had to race we want to race Correct. we'll we'll take it as it comes all right well you've given this one a top ride well done to you and uh, i know that uh, you love riding these silks good sponsors newly on board and um, you're providing them a lot of happiness so well done oh uh, yes uh, thank you you know it's good to be on board and a uh, great team great people well done to richmond apologies for the cap i forgot it uh, well, <laughs> well done to to brett been a pleasure to work with him too so um, things are going quite decently, so thank you. Well done, Gareth. Thank you. Good stuff. There we go. Gareth's right, getting his opportunities. Well done, Mr. Crawford. I haven't had my chance um, to say a massive well done to you and James and your whole team uh, for winning the Hollywood Bets Durban July. Have you come down from Cloud Nine yet? Yeah, very much so. We were back in town the Monday afterwards and obviously had a lot of elements to deal with. It's been pretty tough. But, um, you know, full credit to the team at home. They've worked uh, really hard and, um, you know, I think we've done a lot of things right. Credit to the jocks today for, for, for doing their best to, to keep the meeting going. It, it is testing and tough out there. Um, but back to the filly, I thought she won a really good race. Um, you know, unfortunately, with her faltering when she did, it, it, I think it didn't help her. I think she would have won a lot easier. Um, but she's a nice filly. She's still very immature. Um, and obviously, I think she's going to strengthen up. And in time, um, you know, I think she's a filly that uh, they'll have a lot of fun with. So well done to the Kiss Feders and to the Heifer family, to Ridgemont for breeding her, um, and of course to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets. Mr. Crawford, is there anything from your side uh, that punters perhaps can include later on today? I know it's going to be tough. Um, you don't know where you are in terms of fitness, etc. But if you had to single one out? Yeah, look, I, I think from, from our runners today, obviously a filly like Pink Moon, I think you have to respect, you know, she is a filly that's got good gate speed, so she should be up on the speed early. Um, being a handicap, she has to give quite a bit of weight away, but I would definitely respect her. I personally think our best runner is Amancio. Um, I think he's in the right race, and I think um, he's a horse that will handle today's conditions. And then in race six, we've got um, Alice Maurice, definite runner, and solar power can't be left out. Um, Blue Bay's doing well at home, but I would side with Alice Maurice and solar power there. Beautiful. Thank you for the feedback. Well done, Mr. Crawford. No problem. There we go. Yeah, always good to see Brett Crawford in town and uh, massive well done again to him and his entire team uh, with winning the Hollywood Bets Durban July. All right, so we crack on. We've just finished the third race. Good winner. Remember the name, number seven, Artiste. I wouldn't write off Sahara Cat just yet. And the horse to follow is Maritzburg Memory. Go and watch the replay. She came from a long way back. I'll get you back to the studio. Up next will be race number four.